just a uh, pre-trip. There are five clearance lights, amber in color, not broken or damaged. There's a rubber gasket in, to prevent water or moisture to get inside. There's no missing bolts. I will demonstrate that they work inside. Let's look at the lights. Forward flashes and turn signals are amber in color, not broken or damaged. High beam and low beams are clear in color, not broken or damaged. There's a rubber gasket around it to prevent water or moisture to get inside. They help me to see at night. I will demonstrate that they work inside. My truck is not leaning from one side or the other. There is no leaks and nothing is hanging. Now we're at the passenger side. We we'll start with the coolant reservoir. Coolant reservoir is not broken or leaking. It's up to the proper level right here. Cap is locking uh, place and help to cool up the ready uh, the engine. Next we had the water hose, water hose no abbreviation bubbles or cut, no missing clamps. There are two of them, they're not broken or damaged and it helps to move the water around the engine. Then we had the windshield washer fluid filler. It's not broken or damaged, it's a uh, secure bolted to the uh, frame, cap is in place and helps to keep the windshield clean if used properly. We on the driver's side of the engine. We start with the water hose. Water hose, no abbreviation bubble to cut. Uh, it helps to move the water around the engine. There's no missing clamps. Next, we have the uh, all my hoses in general. There's an abbreviation bubble to cut. It helps to move the liquid and air around the engine. Then we got the water pump over here. Water pump is not broken or damaged. It's not leaking. It's a belt driven and it helps to move the water around. Next, we got the alternator. Alternator it controls my electrical, uh, security bolted. No wires are hanging and no uh, electrical tape on it. And it's also a belt driven. Next, we have the uh, oil filler and dip stick. Oil filler and dip stick is not broken or damaged. I'll check the oil with the engine off. I'll pull the uh, dip stick, check to the proper level. If needed, I'll fill it on the oil filler to manufacture specification and help to uh, keep my engine cool and lubricated. Next we have the uh, uh, power steering reservoir. Power steering reservoir is not leaking or damaged. It has a cap on a dip stick. If needed, I'll fill to the proper level and recap. After that we got the uh, power steering pump, which I cannot see it, but I can follow the power steering line to it. Okay. A secure bolted to the engine, not broken or damaged, not leaking. It's also it's a gear driven and it helps with the smooth steering. After that we got the uh, air compressor. Air compressor is not broken or damaged, it's a gear driven and we are, builds up my air supply. Then we have the uh, steering shaft. Steering shaft is not broken or damaged. It's connected by U joints. The U joints are secure, uh, well greased, not broken or damaged, no illegal welds. My gearbox, gearbox is not broken or damaged, securely uh, bolted to the uh, frame, and it's not leaking. Then we got the pinman arm, dry link, and steering arm. They're not broken or damaged, not bended, no illegal welds, and they're securely locked with the castle nut and a cutter pin. Then we move on with the. Uh, then we move on to the front axle. We start with the frame. The frame is not broken or damaged. No illegal welds. Then we got the spring mount. Spring mount is securely bolted to the frame. Not broken or damaged. And it holds the lead spring. Lead spring is not broken or damaged. It's in alignment. It's not missing more than one quarter inch anywhere, or else the truck will be placed out of service. Next we got the U bolts. U bolts are not broken or damaged, and they hold the lead spring and the cross member. After that we got the shock or shock absorber. It's not broken or damaged, securely bolted to the frame and it's not leaking any hydraulic fluid. And we got the uh, single airline hose. Single airline hose, not abrasion bubble or cut and supplies air to the chamber. Air brake chamber. Air brake chamber is not broken or damaged, it has a C clamp around it. As all fittings are present, it's not leaking any air, no illegal wheels and no stress tracks. After that we got the uh, push rod and slack adjuster. It's not broken or damaged. No illegal wheels. Push rod turns the S cam to apply the brake and should that be no more than one inch pulled by hands with a brake release. 
Then we got the brake lining, brake shoes, and brake drum. Brake lining should be no less than one quarter inch at thinnest point to prevent to hit metal to metal when braking. Brake shoes, they should be no oil or grease to prevent any fire in case it's overheated. Brake drum, no illegal wells, well rounded, and uh, no missing bolts. ICD, inflation, condition, and depth. Inflated to 110 psi, check with the tire commercial gauge. There's no abbreviation, but also cut on the inner or outside of the tire. There's no um, even wear, no flat spot, and it should be no less than 40 seconds of depth. My rim, let's go beat around the rim, around the tire, not broken or damaged, not cracked, no illegal wheels, and no hammer marks. My lug nuts, lug nuts are not broken or damaged. There's no strip or, or wear. There's no rust to indicate that they might be loose. My air stem. My air stem is not broken or damaged. It's not leaking any air. And it's centered with a cap. And the uh, turn signal. It's amber in color, not broken or damaged. There's a uh, rubber gasket around it to prevent water or moisture to get inside. I will demonstrate that they work inside. Next, we get the saddle strap. Saddle strap are security bolted to the frame. There's no illegal wells, not broken or damaged. Uh, saddle strap, they have a rubber gasket underneath to prevent any friction or damage to the fuel tank or rust. Fuel tank, it's not leaking, not broken or damaged. It's not leaking from the fuel lines or the fuel cap. Then we got the fuel cap. Fuel cap is not broken or damaged, not illegal wells. There is a chain and a T-bar inside the fuel cap and there is a seal to prevent from leaking. Step tank. Step tank is not broken or damaged. It's really bolted to the frame. It half is locked in place. It can leave one eighth full. My battery case. Battery case is not broken or damaged. Okay, I have no access to it. It's security lock. We see a cover on top. No wires and exposure, and no sign of corrosion. Corrosion. Frame, not broken track or damage, no illegal wells. Service line. A service line is no breaking bubbles or cracks, not leaking, they are connected from both ends. They're not broken crack or damage in the last position. There's a rubber gasket in between to prevent any leakage. I don't hear any air leaks when the valves are pushed in. Next, we get a fifth wheel. The uh, platform. Platform is not broken or damaged, no illegal wheels. There's no missing bolts and no locking pin. And it, it holds the uh, fifth wheel plate in place. Next, we get the fifth wheel plate. Fifth wheel plate is not broken or damaged, no illegal wheel, wheel grease. My relief handle is not broken or damaged with the latch, uh, safety latch in position, no illegal wheels in a locked position. Next, we got the apron. Uh, apron is not broken or damaged, no illegal wheels. There should be no light or space between the apron and the fifth wheel plate, indicating that it's a well, well uh, secure with no debris on it. Uh, next, we got the kimping. Kimping is not broken, bended, it's well greased, it's locked with the locking jar. Locking jar goes around the kimping, it pulls the trailer so it must be well secured. Okay, clearance between the truck and the landing gear. There is enough space, it's not touching the truck or the landing gear. Landing gear, the, uh, landing gear handle. Not broken or damaged and secure with a nut and a bolt. Landing gear, not broken or damaged, no illegal wheels and well grease. Skid plate, not broken or damaged and is secure with a nut and a bolt. 
Strong signal, not broken cracker damage, amber in color. It has a rubber gasket around to prevent water moisture to get inside. It lets other drivers know that I'm planning to switch lanes. DOT stickers, red and white in color in a good condition. That's it. lights and turn signal, not broken or damaged. It has a rubber gasket to prevent water moisture to get inside. It's also my forward flashing, my turn signal, and my service lights. It helps to let other drivers know what I'm planning to do.